Let's take a closer look at motion graphs, specifically distance time graphs. On a distance time graph, time is always plotted on the x-axis and distance is always on the y-axis. A distance time graph is the same thing as a position time graph. Your position is how far you are from the detector, which is also the distance from the detector. I like to put the words near and far on the graph because notice how this line is not getting nearer to the detector and it is not getting farther from the detector. Therefore, this object is not moving. This object is at rest. Please write not moving beside this graph. If an object is moving at a constant speed, then the slope of the line will be constant. So this object is steadily moving from near to far as time goes on. This, this constant slope means we have a constant speed. Constant speed is shown by a straight line on the graph. If the line is flat, it's a constant speed of zero. If it sloped a little bit, it's a slow constant speed. And if it slopes steeply, it's a fast constant speed. The steeper the slope, the faster the object is moving. So this line is a faster speed, and this line is a slower speed. If we had another line with an even shallower slope, this would be even slower. Since both lines are straight lines, this is a constant or steady speed. When you have acceleration, the speed must change. The speed is the slope, therefore the slope must change. Here is a speed of zero. Here's a slow speed, a fast speed, faster, faster, faster. If you have a line that starts flat and gradually gets steeper, then it's starting with zero speed and going slow and then faster. So your graph is accelerating. So if you have a curved line, that shows acceleration. A straight line shows no acceleration. It's a steady speed. Notice how this graph goes from slow and gets faster and faster and faster as it gets steeper. So let's look at a summary of a distance time graph. The steeper the slope, the fast, faster the motion. So this is faster and this is slower. A horizontal line means the object is not changing its distance or position. It's not getting farther, it's not getting nearer. So a horizontal line means not moving. Then a negative slope means the object is going from far to near. It is coming back to where you started. This slope is a little bit steeper than this slope. So the object is coming back a little bit faster than it went away. If you have a curved line that is getting steeper, then the object is getting faster. So let's take a look at these graphs. Notice in this graph, this object is starting zero yards away from the detector. In this one, the object is starting 10 yards away. They both end up 20 yards away, and they both take four seconds to do that. So this object went from zero to 20. It moved a distance of 20 yards in four seconds. This object moved from 10 to 20, so it moved a distance of 10 yards in four seconds. See how this line is steeper and faster, and this line is shallower and therefore slower. Which one of the graphs shows that one of the runners started 10 yards further ahead of the other? Well, this, this one shows that this object started 10 yards ahead of this object. These two objects started at the same location. This object went faster and this one went slower. This one started at zero yards and this one started at 20. This one was faster than this one but this one didn't quite catch up with this one because it gave the second object too much of a head start. This one, they both started at zero and the faster object got further. 
So which graph shows that one of the runners started 10 yards ahead of the other? The answer would be graph A, because one object started 10 yards ahead of the other. In which of the following graphs are both runners moving at the same speed? Explain your answer. Remember, speed is the slope. So which lines have the same slope? That would be these two. They have the same slope which means they have the same speed. We can easily understand these two graphs, but this one's a little bit confusing, so let's talk about it. We have one object that starts at 10 yards and goes to 20 yards over a time of four seconds. It goes fairly slowly. See the shallow slope. Then we have another object that starts at zero yards and goes to 30 yards. This one moves much more quickly. See the steeper slope. But what happens here? Do the two objects run into each other? No, actually, one moves faster than the other. So one starts at zero and ends up at 30. The other starts at 10 and ends up at 20. They both take four seconds to do that. So the objects do this. See how one object passed the other? Because it was going faster. So right here, one object passes the other. They do not run into each other. You take a moment to answer these questions. Pause the video, then continue playing to see if you got them right. In graph A, the car is moving from near to far at a steady rate, at a steady speed. So the car is traveling at a constant speed because of the straight line. Technically, this car is also going a steady speed, coming back to you, and this car is going a steady speed of zero. But in this graph, the car is not stopped, it is not decreasing, and it is not coming back. So this graph matches description two because it has a constant slope. A constant slope equals a constant speed. Graph B. The car is moving from far to near at a steady pace. So the car is coming back. The reason it's coming back is because there is a negative slope. Graph C has zero slope, so it has zero speed. It is not getting any further away. It is not getting any nearer. Therefore, it is not moving. Description one, the car has stopped. So graph C matches description one because there is zero slope, which means zero speed. Graph D, the speed is changing because the slope is changing. The speed of the car is decreasing. Let's see if that's correct. We start out with a steep slope and a fast speed. We have a medium slope and a medium speed and a shallow slope and a slow speed. Therefore, this one is decreasing its speed. Graph D matches description three because the slope is decreasing. Therefore, the speed is decreasing. 